Hey guys, today I got a quick video for you talking about the fuel system on these small engines. This is a 12 horse Briggs here with your older style one piece flow jet carburetor. Now, a common problem in just about every small engine with the float type carburetor is the float sticking or developing a leak and taking on fuel and it floods the engine out. A lot of times when you check the uh, oil in your engine, it'll be way overfilled and it uh, might be smoking real bad like it needs rebuild or has a blown head gasket if it's an overhead valve engine but uh, that's usually what happens is there's way, acts like there's way too much oil in there and simple fix is kind of dodging the problem but you're preventing the problem from happening is uh, installing an inline fuel valve like you see right here that way every time you get done cutting grass or running your mower around or whatever you just shut your valve off and what I do, you don't always have to, is uh, after I shut the valve off, I let the engine run out of gas. That way all the gas is uh, used up out of the carburetor. That just prevents it from gumming up or anything. And if you do this every time you shut it off, you never have to worry about the engine flooding out. On these older carburetors like this, you just never know when that float could develop a leak and uh, sink down and let the uh, carburetor overflow with gas. And it's even more of a problem on these newer carburetors, the two-piece carburetors. These will, uh, this happens all the time on these. Either the float sticking or the needle valve not sealing and flooding out the whole engine. And it floods out. Alright guys, so uh, just got a fuel valve here. I've got a few of them on hand now. I figured I'd put an add in on this video here towards the end of installing one on the mower here. So basically all you gotta do is uh, best to siphon out or unhook your hose from your carburetor and drain all the gas out. This one was run dry so there shouldn't be much if any gas come out when I cut this. Say just a little dab there. And go ahead and find which uh, fuel hose clamp will fit it. Slide that on each side. This would also be the exact same way you'd install a uh, fuel filter. And you just line up on there on both of them and that's it I forgot to notice but there's a uh, error pointing this way and that means the fuel flows this way now I don't know how critical it is because a valve works the same any way you hook it up that's what they say so that's what we'll do Get down there like that and that's all there is to it it's off and it's on. Any valve like this, when it's pointing like that, that means it's on. Just think of it like an arrow pointing that way. And when it's off, think of it like a block right there so it can't go through. So that's ready to go there. Well, guys, if you got any questions or comments about the installing fuel valves on these uh, small engines and lawnmowers and stuff, just uh, Leave a comment below or send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching.